Here we consider four of the most important things that you can do now to best prepare for the higher level Leaving Cert Maths exam this coming June. First of all, it is really important that you practice and improve your algebra. Algebra is the language of maths and no matter how well you understand the different concepts in the different areas, if your algebra is weak, you're not going to be able to complete any calculations and that's going to let you down severely. Because of this, it is really important that you address any issues involving expressions, equations, powers, logs at this stage. If you are weak with these, it will undermine your efforts in many, many different areas. The second point is that it is essential to pay attention to learning off the concepts in the different areas of maths. Many students try to learn maths by learning off techniques by memory without any understanding of what's going on. If you take this approach, it will undermine you in a number of different ways throughout the exam. First of all, in, in section A, it is possible that you might be asked directly a question examining your understanding of one of the concepts I've involved in that question. This could be in the form of an explanation, a definition, or worse still, an opinion. In this case, it is very, very important that you use precise language. In recent marking schemes, it has been a feature that uh, woolly thought has been very severely penalised. Also, in section B, um, one of the biggest decisions you will have to make with questions is deciding what method to, to, to use in the question. Unless you understand the concepts associated with the different methods on the course, you could make a wrong call and that could have disastrous consequences. The third point to remember that it's important to prepare well for the likely topics in section B on each paper. As you know, the questions in section B in particular are meant to be unpredictable. However, certain patterns, patterns have been emerging in recent years. For example, on paper one in section B, it is clear that the questions are going to be dominated by algebra and calculus very often together. Likewise, on paper two in section B, the single topic that has dominated most is trigonometry, um, very often combined with geometry and to a lesser extent than statistics. You should really prepare these topics very well. Finally, when it comes to the exam itself, it is important that you make an attempt at every part of every question. If you leave a part blank, you can get no marks for that. On the other hand, if you write something down, you give yourself a chance of at least getting a low to mid partial credit, if not better. Best of luck in the exam.